My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop, and today we're talking about uh, cross drilling. So what I've got is I've basically, it's just a, an up down uh, parallel twin uh, crankshaft, it could be a V or anything, it doesn't really matter. And um, you might have all heard of, we've gone through our oil pump filter, and then what happens to your oil supply is it goes through into your what you call your main gallery. A gallery is basically just a passageway, it's just a fucking hole that goes pretty much at nearly the length, the width of your engine, and then off that you have um, smaller feed lines that come off. So we'll have a main journal here, like, so. Oh, let me actually have a change colour. Right then, so we have our main journals here, like so, I have one in the middle, a lot of times we have a cam chain there which is a pain in the ass. And then we have a main journal here like this. So these are our supports, like that. This is basically where our bearings go for our crank. Now, our main gallery feeds come down these. So there's a hole all the way there that comes in basically into our um, main galleries. And then what you do is you have a, a bearing between there, and then there'll be a hole in the crankshaft. The problem with this, sometimes it's all the way through, or a lot of times it's all the way through. Uh, the problem with this is that we need to basically oil our conrod bearings, our big ends, our crank pins. We need to oil them off this supply. So how do we do this? Well, this is what we call cross drilling. So what we do is, I'll show you a CNC when they're doing a uh, billet crank. I'll show you the picture now, or the video now. what they do is they drill through there well, that's not the straightest line ever is it they drill like that through there this is what we call cross drilling now generally what we have as well is we'll have a hole drilled in here like so so these two match up sometimes this hole comes all the way through and you can do both you can come all the way through to that gallery there so we have basically created a little oil gallery in there and then what we can do depending on the engine we can also come down this way if it's required although well, that's a bit of a harder one to get into and this is all about crankshaft geometry um, not just the throw of the crank and the width of the crank pins and all the rest of it um, this is how you basically feed your big end bearing so we'll have our big end bearing here with our conrod like so bearing in there like that and even then it doesn't stop there what can happen is is you can have a feed through this bearing into your conrod and there's a hole all the way upside the inside of your conrod to even do your wrist pin um, but like I say it depends on the engine it depends on the oil characteristics it depends uh, how much load they're putting on these things it depends if you have a semi or a fully floating wrist pin we'll get into that later that's a different video altogether um, but that's what this cross drilling is, is it's drilling across sometimes you can't completely do this so we'll use this one as an example sometimes because of our throw size is quite large what happens is is we can only as you can see we're getting very close to this corner here and very close to this corner here so sometimes we can't actually cross drill exactly like that so what we do instead on this one we'll use an example is just say we can only um, pick this angle right now the thing is if we pick this angle we're going to come out here which is not exactly where we want to be or it could be even worse maybe we're forced to have a steeper angle where we'd end up coming out here not even on the crank pin or in the corner which would be no good to anyone so what we do is then is we cross drill again and we drill across the middle like this so now we've got a feed into here into there like that this is what all this cross drilling is cross drilling basically is where you drill two holes that intersect 
but you'll say, well, oil will come down here, it'll flow down here, and then it'll piss out the back here. Well, you get a big fucking bearing, you might have seen these big fucking ball bearings, and you hammer it into there. Sometimes you can even machine a recess for it to stop on. So now you've got a big bearing hammered in there, like so, so it's a stop, and now the oil can flow like this, and then you drill a hole like this and it pisses out, like so, into your bearings and lubricates them. So that's what all this cross drilling malarkey is all about. It's basically just intercepting holes either with surfaces or with other holes that have been drilled. Now you'll see this a lot and you'll see this a lot with the carb examples I'm going to show you. Um, this happens a lot in carbs where basically you have um, just say the top part of your carb where your diaphragm spring is and all the rest of it. You'll have your carb body like this and you'll have your fuel ball and you need there'll be a, a cast passage like this you'll see these and what they do is they can drill at an angle or something but they'll drill through here they'll drill through here and they'll drill through here like so and then what they do is they stick little brass ball bearings in there to block off them passages and now you've got a and up here and up here or maybe they might do it just from the bottom and stop there you know, so it's quite precise drilling. They've got to drill to you know precise depths, and this is cross drilling as well. This means that the air can now pass up this passage like this, and there is no problem. You know, so the, that's used for uh, pressure equalization, vacuum, blah 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 blah. But you can see what this cross drilling thing is. Sometimes you just physically can't get into there, so instead you've got to cut corner, not cut corners, because drill bits can't cut corners. Uh, you know you've got to basically just do loads of straight lines and then block off accordingly as you go um well welch plugs basically are for that as well where you basically just blank off an end if you look at and we'll look at this in carbs you can see that there are some passages on your carb that haven't been drilled out that haven't been used there are features with additional jets and stuff that haven't been used that's because they basically amalgamated three or four different um features into one carb, cast the one carb, and then, oh, what model is it? Oh, it's this, so we'll drill this, this, and this, and we'll leave that, that, and that, and that's for a different model for a different purpose. Any road, hope that makes sense, and I'll see you in a bit.